Any manufacturing company that can assimilate data to answer questions regarding their production can benefit from data analytics. Production data analytics can reduce processing flaws, improve production quality, increase efficiency, and save time and money. Some of the areas where production data analytics can be effectively used are, productivity improvement, product profitability or contribution improvement, product quality, and defects tracking, increasing energy efficiency, and efficient material requirement planning. The range of production data analytics use cases in the manufacturing industry is limited only by available data and imagination. Unless you narrow your query to a specific business challenge that can be revealed by patterns or examples, you won't get much value from production data analytics. Just having vast quantities of data at hand for analysis doesn't mean you can extract the insight you need. The use case described in this presentation focuses on productivity improvement and reduction in scrap generation. The production facility was over 10 to 15 years old with some degree of automation but had no possibility of acquiring data from any existing PLCs. Production data was captured in real time using sensors, PLCs, data logger, and IC soft paperless factory. Following data was captured, machine start and stop production count in numbers and meters, reasons for stoppages, material consumption in meters with traceability, quality control, rejections with reasons. The data was stored in the ICSoft MES. The required data was converted by ICSoft report server into a flat file and exported to Excel for analytics. Production analysis per week shows that, production during week 20, 21, and 23 are low. OEE or TEEP analysis shows that, week 21 and 23 had only 25 and 35 hours available respectively. Week 20 had 60 hours available and still had less than 30,000 meters production. Analysis of average hourly production in a week shows that, week 20 had production rate of less than 500 meters per hour. Week 22 and 23 also had lower hourly production compared to the average. The production batch size was divided in three groups and number of batches produced per week was analyzed. Week 20 to 23 had more numbers of small batch size. Analysis of average hourly production for a batch size group shows that Batch size of less than 2,000 sheets have very low productivity, less than 500 meters per hour. OEE and TEEP analysis by batch size shows that Batch size of less than 2,000 sheets have lower machine utilization. Top 10 idle time analysis shows that Batch size of less than 2,000 have higher stoppages. These can be analyzed or investigated further for taking necessary steps in reducing these stoppages and improving productivity. Trim sizes were grouped in three categories for analysis. 13 work orders with higher than 80 mm trim generated as much of waste as 101 work orders with less than 50 mm trim. This could be due to incorrect planning or purchase. This could also be due to lack of real-time visibility of available stock. Rejection analysis based on batch size also shows that Production batch size has a direct relation to the sheets scrapped or rejected, lower the batch size, higher the rejection. Production batch size has a direct relation to productivity and rejection waste affecting the cost of manufacturing. Contribution analysis of these small batches of production should be done to determine the minimum viable batch size for product. Cost estimation should be done keeping the batch size in consideration. Improper planning or purchase has an impact on trim waste. Also lack of real-time visibility of available stock has an impact on trim waste. Better real-time inventory management and planning system to be implemented to minimize the trim waste. It was decided to implement some of the other features of ICSoft 4. 
calculating actual cost of production and contribution for every batch based on actual production time, scrap generation, and material consumption and not standard costing. Better visibility of shop floor stock by using integrated real-time machine loading and inventory management. Thank you, and please feel free to contact any one of us if you would like to know more about ICSoft Paperless Factory and how we can help you with your smart manufacturing or industry 4.0 initiatives. We will be pleased to answer any queries you may have. You could also visit our website for more details.